high world, and it is a determined black man again. Um, every man, every boy, every every woman, every girl, under the sound of my voice, I just want to wish you all a great day, and I hope that you be blessed, beyond blessed, beyond measure. Um, as always, you know, I have something to speak on. Um, and first of all, I want to I wanna commend all of you all that are out there doing the right thing, um, living life the way you're supposed to live it, you know what I'm saying? So many of y'all scream, oh, I'm living my best life. Yeah, but you being ratchet, you all up in the club shaking your ass. You know, you all, you, 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 you all out in public doing things that you should be doing behind closed doors. You know, you're exposing yourself, overly exposing yourself. You, you out here, you, you, you running your mouth, talking loud and being heard, you know. That's not living your best life if, if, if I had to say so myself. See, you could be silent and you could have nothing at all, you know what I'm saying, and still be living your best life. Because people, some people that don't have things to to worry about, like bills and stuff like that, those are some of the less stressed people in, in the world. They, you know, they people that don't have to have the newest rides, don't have to have all the new, new fashions, clothes and shoes and jewelry. You know, they find they they find it interesting just to be alive, you know, and take nothing for granted. But so oftentimes, many of us, we become complacent with material things and we start to measure others by those same material things that we think that uh, amount to uh, success. But I'm not saying that, you know, it's a bad thing to have things. I'm saying that don't allow those things to to determine who you are, you know. In other words, make the money. Don't let the money make you. In other words, if you like nice clothes, occasionally go out and treat yourself. Don't beat yourself, though. You know, when I say beating yourself, I mean going out here spending unnecessary amounts of money on clothes and shoes and jewelry and cars and things that don't appreciate with value. And then next year, I see you got your hand out. Might not even be next year. Might be next week or next month, you know, or... You know, I see you pull mouth and you know, and you're asking somebody for help or you're calling people and you know, in silence, you you, you in silence when, when 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 all the hype is gone, you know, you calling and borrowing from people, but in public, you know, you balling. Look, I've been poor all my life, you know. I done had thousands and thousands of dollars in my possession, but I was still poor. Because until we start owning things like, you know, massive things like buildings and property and um you know collecting deeds to to property and you know that's true ownership having a having a, a pink slip to a car you know that's okay that's good because i'd have had to take some of my pink slips and borrow against it just to be able to make it through but what i'm saying is until you have actually accumulated wealth then you're still poor you're still struggling, you know what I'm saying? You got people that's got, you know, thousands of dollars, hundreds of thousands of dollars, still poor because they still don't have a plan. If if, if, the, if if everything came crashing down today, they would run through that money without a plan on how to keep the money coming, keep the money going. See, wealth begets wealth. Certain other people, you know, they know this. And so that's why they pass things on to their family, their kids, their kids' kids. And that's how you build legacy. We only um, focus, most of us only focus on self, you know. We want to look good. And so when I, when we pull up, the kids can say, um, oh, your mama got a nice car. Your daddy got a bad whip, you know. And, and that's how we feel like we've gave given justice to our kids, so many of us, I ain't saying all of us, but I'm just saying so many of us are this way, like we feel like like uh, we send our kids to school with Jordans on, or a gold chain, and you know, in junior high, elementary, you got kids walking around with chains and stuff on there. We feel like that, that, that puts us on a certain level, you know, make make us look good, look big out here in this world. But it's, it, it, it's really stupid, you know, unless you actually can afford to do those things consistently without strife, without struggle, 
you know, next week don't be looking at how you're going to pay your bill after you went out there and spent them $300 on them joy for that kid. One child, you just spent $300 on one pair of shoes. And get what? Most of them kids I ain't going to even appreciate them because in, 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 in a month time, them shoes destroyed. They scratched up. They scuffed up. You can't take them nowhere in them because people going to be looking at them like, no, they ain't got them old shoes on, and you ain't going to want to take them nowhere because if you're the type of person going to spend $300 on some kid's shoes, knowing they feet growing, knowing he ain't going to be able to wear them for six months, if he did take care of them, then, you know, I know you're not the type of person to do that. You know, you're going to care about what people think. But see, to accumulate wealth, you got to first humble yourself. And then you must make the, the proper sacrifices. It ain't about what you make. It's how you spend it and what you do with it. I mean, yeah, I struggle. I mean, I don't make a lot of money. I struggle from day to day. You know, when I'm speaking to you, I'm, I'm, I'm actually speaking to myself as well. I encourage myself to do better. Nothing wrong with that. A lot of y'all be like, oh, you poor. You ain't got nothing yourself. How you on here telling other people? Because I've been encouraged to do so. And in, in doing so, it encourages me to do better myself. But I am on, on a better path now because I don't believe in wasteful spending. Um, I got people that can vouch for that. You know, I don't, I don't go out to the clubs and things like I used to and spend money like that. I, I just refuse to. I don't go to the, the casino and get my money to the casino with a hope that I'll win more money, knowing that those places were designed, designed to take my money. And that's how they continue to get rich. I wanna, I wanna own my own casino, or something of that nature. You know what I'm saying? I need to put me something in place where I can accumulate wealth and I can be able to sustain myself and my family and my family's family. You know, that's the that's the goal. And it starts small. You know, it starts by scaling back on things that you do, like going out to eat. You ain't gotta go out and spend a hundred dollars on a meal for two. When you could go spend a hundred dollars in a grocery store and you could eat for a week, and that you know that one meal you eat, you 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 getting you paying a hundred dollars for once you pay the once you get a tip and all you know you right at eighty nine and hundred dollars depending on where you're going out to eat at some places even more you know that was just the average cost, but some of us go way beyond that because we gotta buy we gotta buy expensive drink and all that you can go right there to the liquor store and buy a whole bottle product for the price that you're going to pay for that one glass. That's how I think now. Like, okay, if I want, if it's nothing wrong with drinking a glass of wine every now and then, but if I want to, if I want to taste some wine, I want that, 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 that acquired taste. If I acquire that taste and I want that, guess what? Instead of me spending $15 for one glass, I'm going to go spend 20 and buy me a whole bottle and I, and I can pour me a glass for seven days. You know, that's the way I'm thinking. So let's get on that. And that's how we're going to accumulate our wealth. That's how we're going to become successful. That's how we're going to put ourselves in a position to be able to help others. Stop thinking about yourself. You know? Send these kids to school, all these fancy clothes on, but you ain't putting nothing in their head other than filth, other than garbage. You know what I'm saying? They can rap every rap song on, on, on the land. But ask them something about something going on in them books. Uh, 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 tell them to do this math problem, do this equation. Uh, uh, you you gonna have to help me, Mr. Jackson. I don't mind helping, but I I want I want to help people that want to help themselves, and it's not the kid's fault if he doesn't have the 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 want to or is not willing to because he haven't been instituted that mentality. It's the if the parents start at home, it's in the home. Take some time out with these kids. Stop putting a, um, a, a pad or iPad or laptops and phones and stuff all in their face all the time, thinking that's gonna help them. Yeah, it's gonna help them to be technically sound. But what happens when we lose power? All the power go out, and you can't charge that iPad. What happens when these kids don't even know how to raise a plant? You know, and our food sources tap out. What happens then? Like they can't even go out here and plant a garden, you know? Don't know how to don't know how to hunt. Don't know how to skin skin an animal, you know? Yeah, I dress nice, but at the end of the day, I can skin an animal. I know how to hunt, kill, fish, whatever I need to do to survive. You feel me? 
I'm gonna do that. Ain't, ain't, ain't nothing that can happen other than uh, a nuclear bomb or something. I ain't got no, I don't have a doomsday pit. I don't have nowhere I can, you know, hide from nothing like that. But if it just came down to food source, I could plant. I know how to raise a garden. I know how to go out here and even collect seed. You know, I can plant more plants off, of, off of the seeds that I grow, off of the plants that I grow. You know, um, I know the female from the male seed. You know, I, I know what to do. I know how to cultivate the land. You know, we need to learn more how to how to live off the land again, because it may come a time. You know, we got wars and uh, famine all over the world. So, what's to say that we won't be affected by it? It's a strong possibility. Food for thought. Just take that one with you. Um, although. Things that I want to speak about, I, I, I hit y'all back later. But that's just that's just uh, first and foremost for the day. That's what's been on my mind. We need to stop putting all our business on social media and wondering why people be all in our business. You giving it to them, even if you just sharing memes all day. People only share things that that they can relate to. So I don't want to hear that foolishness. You know, oh, I just was sharing that. I just share. I share all day. Yeah, stuff that you can relate to. You know, I don't see a a cat um, sharing a dog, and I don't see the dog sharing the cat. You know, the cat gonna show share cats, and, and the dog gonna share more cat dogs. Excuse me. So I mean, just think about what I'm saying, and hopefully this can help somebody to develop a better thought process geared towards success and being a better people as a whole. And it starts inside of our homes. It starts with our kids and how we raising these kids to go out here and, and, and to be perceived in society. You know, if you raising a thug and you, and you, you teach him to be hard and rap all these songs, he think it's okay to pull pistols and stuff. I had a little young man one day in the store, had a little play toy, he pointed at me. I said, now what's going to happen when you pick up that real gun? You going to shoot somebody? He just looked at me. I said, put that gun down. I looked at his mama first. I looked at him. I said, put that little gun down. Because that's how I start. I play toys. Yeah, I know a lot of y'all probably saying, who, who is he to speak? Blah, 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 blah. I'm me. A determined black man. A determined, I'm determined to make a change, you know? I, I mean, about what I did yesterday, that's what helped me build a character that I have today. But what I'm saying is if you're not advancing, if you're not going forward, if you're not progressing, then you're going backwards. That's what I'm saying. So focus on going forward. It's okay to check your rearview mirror to see what's behind you every now and then. But the reason why it's smaller than your windshield is because you don't have to check it as much as you do that windshield. Look forward. Go forward. And be blessed. I love y'all, but I got to leave you. Peace.